Good morning. It's a beautiful Tuesday for me right now. It's a little bit crisp outside, but there's sun, there's a lot of light. How are you? What have you been up to? I feel like we haven't really chatted much like a regular chat. I remember when I did both 30 day challenges back in August of last year and last November. We would have lots of chats in the comments and it was really fun. So truly, I'm asking you, what have you been up to? What are you working on? What inspires you right now? Leave me some comments because I would really like to see what you've been up to and maybe it's going to inspire me and others in turn. Usually in my vlogs, I try to have a specific topic to tackle, to give like an art tip or something specific like a subject to maybe inspire someone or help a beginner mostly. But today I wanted to do things a bit differently. I wanted a chilled vlog in the studio with no art tips or no specific subject in mind. I just want to work on my personal projects in the studio, show you my day. I hope that sounds good to you. The first thing I want to tackle is to tidy my studio. Oh, let me show you the state of my studio because I never show this side because it's kind of a mess. Let me show you the mess. Still haven't fixed that. I'm on it. I will. First mess. I've got a bunch of lights here and a bunch of wires. I have a little TV for entertainment, which I don't really open that much. I should maybe take it away. So that's the really messy side. That's me. And that's my favorite little helper, Lennox. Sit, sit. What you doing? Bebe, sit. Oh, that's a good boy. What you doing, boy? What are you up to, buddy? You're gonna help me so much. Thanks for your help. <laughs> I was saying that my working table is very messy, so I wanna tidy this. This never gets messy though. I have a little addition for Autumn. I want to put her somewhere because I really like, as you know, how it turned out, my oil pastel on, with resin on top. So I want to find a spot for her, remove the stable, remove all this. Do you know what this is? Here's a hint, the complete rhyming dictionary. You might think this is a bit silly, but I'm making a board game just for me and David because David is a musician and I write songs with him sometimes. I'm not very skilled musically, but I guess I'm very inspired melodically and for lyrics and stuff. We write songs together and this is a board game to write lyrics. Basically, we both find that music comes super naturally to us. We have a bunch of musical ideas all the time. But when it comes to writing lyrics, it's a little bit more labor intensive. And we want to find a way to make it fun without any pressure and to be super creative. So I'm making a board game for song lyrics. We've tried it once. It works. It needs tweaking, but it works and it's kind of fun. I'll let you know how it turns out and what kind of songs we make with it. Anyways, I have to tell you this as well. I'm gonna do that right now.
all done. I'm really happy with the state of the studio. Let me show you. All tidy, all tidy. And on this side, I it might not look like it, but I did tidy. I removed uh, one lamp from here. I kept those big lamps just because sometimes when it gets very rainy, it gets really dark here. So I need some more lighting for you to see better. I wanted to clear out this side because I like having two walls to paint larger paintings or at least have one wall where I could hang paintings to dry and another wall where I could be more messy to paint and prevent spatters everywhere. I don't know about you but at some point when there's too much clutter it really affects my mood and my motivation level so that's why once in a while I tidy everything up and it gives me like a big boost of renewed energy. It took a bit longer than expected now it's lunchtime I'm gonna go have lunch but maybe I could show you a little bit of my autumn home decor if you're interested. Pumpkins exploded in my house. I got these two pillows on Amazon. Put them up here for now, but I we actually use them on the couch. The couch is always in this kind of state because Mr. Boy here gets dirty paws, so we cover it to protect it. And then we have a bunch of mini pumpkins. They're super small and so cute. I really like the feel of them in the space. It makes everything very autumnal. I feel like everybody loves autumn. It's a cliche, but, but it's true, right? I don't know. I love autumn. I've got two more here on my little piano desk thing. My flip through abstract work. <laughs> How cute. And I have this here some fake acorns and stuff this is a jar that i got at home sense and i keep lennox's treats in it and i made a little tray here small things like that make a big difference for me look and i even put two here i use like some gummy glue like that to keep them up on my studio door i have this mini wreath and i put some fairy lights in it I don't know about you, but these little things make a big difference in my everyday mood and spirit. Making my space cozy, whether it be in my studio or my living space, makes a world of difference for me. I looked at my list for the Sunshine State of Mind series. My goal for this year was to paint 12 paintings in the series. I feel like it's gonna be an ongoing series in the next few years. That's what I'm thinking right now, without necessarily any pressure to produce a certain amount but for the first year this year i wanted to have 12 pieces done and after that I kind of play it by ear whenever i feel like it i just do one so far i have five that are done and i have seven more to go today i decided i was gonna paint this one
I feel like the painting is coming along really well. I did the first coat, basically the base coat. And now I'll be ready to do more details in the skin and pops of colors maybe. Right now I'm losing light so I'm gonna finish the painting in the next vlog which should be up Friday. Subscribe and hit the bell to not miss any vlogs and please leave me a comment to let me know what you're up to. Thanks for watching. Bye!